Hey, good morning, everybody. Today's August the 8th, 2023. I wanted to share a dream with you that I had this morning. Um, <clears throat> it's about uh, causing the little ones to stumble. Okay, um, there's other parts to the dream, but I, um, I'm going to share the part about um, the child because there's a message there for everybody. Um, the other part was um, basically for me. Um, so, uh, in part, in one part of the dream, um, I see my grandson, Jordan, um, in the dream, he is much younger than he is right now. And he comes to me and he tells me about how in his classroom, he got beat up. He got abused very badly. He was, he was beat up really, really bad. And he was so sad about it. I noticed my grandson did not have on any shoes. He had a school uniform on. He had the, the khaki shorts and the blue uh, polo shirt. Uh, I noticed he had on his belt. Um, but he did not have on any shoes. And um, so when he told me he got beat up really bad and abused really bad in his classroom, I, I, I took him into my arms I gave him a hug and I started feeling over his head. I was looking at him. I didn't see any bumps or scratches and I was feeling all on his head to see if he had any lumps or, you know, bumps on his head from getting hit and stuff. And I didn't, um, I didn't feel anything or see any kind of, uh, outward visible injuries to him. However, he told me he was beat up and he was abused really bad in the classroom. He was so sad about it. So I said, okay, well, come on. So I take my grandson back to his school and I enter into the school and we're passing all these different classrooms and I see a classroom. There's a teacher there. She's got children in the classroom and uh, Jordan points to his classroom and I notice that classroom is empty. Uh, I didn't go in all the way, but I noticed there's no teacher. There's no children. So I go to the other teacher that I saw there and I say, um, so, uh, this classroom here, why doesn't it, why is there no teacher? She says, I don't know. And she was kind of like shaking her head. Like she was pretty disgusted, you know, like, like the teacher was not there. The teacher was supposed to be there. The children were supposed to be there, but, um, it, you know, it, it, he just was not there. He was not being responsible. So, uh, I walked into the classroom all the way and I saw two pairs of children's shoes on the floor. And I noticed one of them belonged to Jordan, my grandson. I picked them up and I handed them to my grandson. I said, here, put your shoes on. So I walk out of the classroom and, um, let's see. Okay. Well, I think, you know what? So right there, I am going to say, I won't, I won't tell the, okay. I'll just, what, what, what this dream is. The rest of it, I don't need to basically tell the rest of it. It's a, it's a more of an end times thing uh, that happened after that. But let me tell you what this dream is about. This is about uh, Luke chapter 17 verses 1 and 2. Okay. Then said he unto the disciples, it is impossible, but that offenses will come. So he's saying it's, it's, listen, it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not impossible Okay, offenses are going to come, but woe unto him through whom they come. My grandson was offended. An offense was done to him. He was beaten up in the classroom. He was, he was beaten up really, really bad. Now, I didn't see any physical injuries because this was internal. It was spiritual. Spiritually, he was beat up. He went through a spiritual battle. Okay, the teacher was not there. The teacher was not teaching him. The teacher had uh, was not being a responsible teacher. Verse two, it were, it were better for him that a millstone were hung about his neck and he be cast into the sea that then, then that he should offend one of these little ones, right? Or cause one of the little ones to stumble. Okay. And that's what this teacher has done now. Okay. I'll, I'll hint a little bit. Okay. So at, after I picked up Jordan, I'll just go ahead and say some more is after I picked up Jordan, uh, we went to the classroom and I gave him his shoes to put on. Now his shoes are part of the armor of God. The shoes are the gospel of the peace of Jesus Christ. Okay. That's what the shoes are. 
He was beat up so bad that it removed his shoes, part of his armor. Now, I noticed he had his belt on. I noticed he had his belt on, uh, but I didn't see him have anything else. I know well, I noticed he had a backpack as well. But he had his belt on, which is part of the armor, but his shoes were removed. Okay, now, so I go outside and I, and I see the teacher's car and I take the teacher's car and I go and I drive it. And uh, the teacher's out there and I come, I just drive it real quick around, like around the block and I come back and I point it at the teacher and I said, yeah, I took your car. I took it for a drive. I was like daring him. I dare you to say, I didn't say this to him, but I was like, D I dare you to say one thing to me. And, um, he was looking at me like, oh, okay, you know, like, oh, wow. He like, he got caught because he was not being responsible because he was not in there with the children. He scattered the children. The, the sheep were scattered. Okay. The shepherd, the one that was supposed to be teaching the, sh the children scattered the flock. Uh, because they were not in the classroom and um, they had been abused and it removed some of the shoes of the armor of God off these children. And I chastised him. I rebuked him. I pointed my finger at him and I told him about how um, basically, you know, this scripture right here, I basically was just, you know, telling him about, you know, he's in trouble because, um, he was not being responsible, being there for a kid, for the children, teaching them what he should have been teaching them, you know, and he caused the children to stumble, basically, is what I was teaching them. And there's more to the dream, and I, the, okay, so I really won't say any more about that, but, so, this is, the, okay, the, this is the teacher, the teacher, the people who are the most significant in the children's lives are their parents, are their parents because I've had another dream about Jordan's mother where I rebuked her strongly and I she was receiving a judgment and this is the exact scripture that I was speaking over Jordan's mother I used to go and tell her I used to be able to see my grandson all the time she took him away from me I'm not able to see Jordan anymore I haven't seen him for about two and a half going on three years uh, and she told me this Jesus stuff has to stop those were her exact words to me. This Jesus stuff has to stop. Jordan used to receive visions and dreams from the Lord. He had been taken to heaven several times in the spirit while in dreams. Beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, information that the Lord would give to Jordan when he'd go. He'd be able to experience things. Um, but she has quenched that. Okay. She has offended him. She offended him. She caused an offense to him. She offended him and caused him to stumble. It removed his shoes. It makes me want to cry right now. But anyway, I will not do that. The good thing is, is that um, Jordan will um, get his shoes back. Okay? But I'm telling you, this isn't just about Jordan. This is about the parents. This is about the parents. You have an obligation. Do not think that because your children are just small children that um, everything's good. No! From the time they are born, from the time they are born, you need to start teaching them about the gospel of Jesus Christ, about the beautifulness of God, the father and what he has done for us by sending his son, Jesus Christ. Don't just presume that children automatically have this knowledge. They do not. This world is so wicked. It is so filthy and wicked that it only takes a moment of time for your child to just have a seed planted in them by the enemy. A lot of parents just give these phones to, or tablets to the children and let them watch whatever they want. A lot of games. You think these, oh, especially Roblox. Roblox is one of the most demonic, wicked things for children to put their hands on. You think it's innocent little fun things. They're not. I used to have to get onto my grandson all the time when I had him because he, I'd see he, play, play, he would be playing Roblox. And I'd say, what are you playing? Oh, I'm just playing this one game. I say, okay, let me see it. So I take the game from him and I'd look. I mean, they're killing each other. They're running around these rooms uh, with all these different people throughout the world. Everybody throughout the world can get on Roblox. So you're playing people from Germany, India, Africa, Australia, just all over the world. And um, he's a, he, you can pick whatever weapon you want. He'd have a battle axe or a sword or a hatchet, you know, just any kind of any, a hammer, a chainsaw. You just run through these rooms killing each other. And it's just like, are you kidding me, Jordan? 
Are you kidding me? What part of this do you think is okay? You cannot play this. You cannot play this thing. So, um, anyway, it wasn't too long after that, you know, where he was removed from my, um, from me being able to visit him. So anyway, his mother's in big, huge trouble, uh, during the great tribulation. She is going to be given a severe judgment. Uh, hopefully she comes to the Lord through Jesus Christ, you know, but I don't know. I just know she's in big trouble. So all the teacher being those that are responsible for teaching the children, they're all in trouble. If you have offended the children, if you have caused the children to stumble, I'm telling you right now, judgment is coming for you. Do not think you can hide from it because you will not be able to hide from it. It's coming. It will be quick. It will be severe. So I suggest right now you repent, get on your knees and repent, ask for forgiveness and step up and be the teacher that you are called to be for the children. If you have children in your life. All right. God bless you. God bless your family. God bless your animals on this day. Goodbye.